Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave. This one I'm calling a European supermarket shave, because these are items that you could find in Europe and Asia, and they're not readily available, or I've never seen them on the shelves in the United States, but uh, they're items that you can just basically find at a supermarket or a pharmacy in Europe or Asia. And you all might be familiar with them, and they're actually some items that I ended up buying off eBay, had them shipped from Europe, and I've never tried them. And one of them, I think I got six or seven months ago, and I've been indicating that I want to try it, but I just hadn't yet. And the items that I'm going to be trying today are the Wilkinson Sword Classic Razor and the Gillette Guard. Now, what intrigued me about this is uh, it's basically a single-edge cartridge razor, so I guess you would call it a cartridge because it is a removable uh, blade, but it's an open comb razor. And this one I have used in the past. Uh, it's actually a DE safety razor. So we're gonna be comparing both of these today. And I'm gonna get set up a little bit. I'm gonna be using Gillette shaving cream. And this one uh, is the lime flavor. And I hear they're on the shelves out there for you people in Europe. Now, I didn't have a, a brush. I couldn't find my Vanderhagen brush, to be honest. So I'm going to use a Cremo brush, and it's a horsehair. And this is pretty much available in the United States. I've seen it. I haven't seen the brush itself, but I do hear they have them at Targets, Target stores. And last but not least, I'm going to be using a Clubman uh, aftershave. So if you give me one second, I will get this set up, and we'll get started. All right. Well, I've opened up the uh, Gillette Wilkinson Sword razor. And it's pretty much a plastic razor that uh, comes with some extra blades, but it is a DE. And you can actually unscrew the top. It's almost like a, well, it's a two-piece razor, to be honest with you. And there you have your Wilkinson Sword blade. I don't want to darn well drop this thing. All right, let's put this back in. Nice and easy. Fits back in and we'll tighten the handle. Comes preloaded with one blade and then you get some extras. So we'll be using this on one side of the face today. Now the other one I got a while ago, the Gillette Guard. You guys heard of this one? Let's open this one up a little easier to open and actually right out of the packet the cartridge is not attached all right cartridge it came off so let me attach this looks like you squeeze it in did i put it right looks like i put it right hold on one second all right I had to do a quick cut because my son's heading out to work he had to use the uh Shaved in the shower, let's say. So we are back. So this is the, whoops, kind of flimsy. Definitely kind of flimsy, but we'll see how she'll do. I mean, this thing's fallen off of me twice already, but uh, we'll do this and this. Actually, I'm gonna do this and this, because uh, uh, when I get to my neck, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to <laughs> rip anything up. So let's see. Let's get this thing started. So if you have a good weekend, uh, I took a lot of your advice and I watched on Netflix that uh, Bird Box with Sandra Bullock. It uh, reminded me of the M. Night Shyamalan movie, The Happening, but it was very good. I did enjoy that. And I like how I just through water all over my shave shirt. All right. Been soaking the brush. I'm gonna try to get a, a face lather on this. Sure hope it works. We will see. Sure hope it works. Let's see. All right. The, uh, Horsehair brush is not exactly the best brush to be doing a face lather with, but hey, you're seeing it. She's working. 
And it definitely smells like lime. It burned off that skin cancer crap on the end of my nose. So, uh, or whatever it was with that liquid nitrogen and that's healing up really well. All right. There goes the air freshener. Now it smells like cinnamon in here. Okay. We'll try this one first. It's been a while since I've tried uh, this razor. Feels a little on the aggressive side. Yeah, it's definitely tugging. Maybe I picked the wrong razor to shave this side of my neck. This is the side I always cut for you people who are just tuning in. Yeah, she's tugging. Yeah, I better go real slow. Well, it appears I made it through without any cuts. All right. Man, this damn thing is light. Definitely a throwaway. Feels smooth though. This was dirt cheap. I think I got this in five blades for God next to nothing. It's a little tugging too, but not so bad. There's your teeth. There goes my boy. He has to work at 5, so he's heading out of here at 430. 420. Hear that? Close. Close. Put a little more on here. All right. Well, I don't know if you guys, I'll, I'll put a link into it uh, in this video, uh, but uh, my interview with Mantic59 uh, aired on his channel, and uh, it was all right. I answer a lot of questions. People are asking, why do you come up with Ken Surf? Do you serve? What, uh, What's the reason behind your shaving videos? How did you get started, et cetera, et cetera. So I answer all of those questions in his interview. So if you're interested, I'll put the link in this description and you can click on it. It was really nice to uh, to do uh, to do that. And I was kind of out of my element because I didn't know what he was going to ask. I really didn't. There was no scripted thing there. This side, I can feel like a little bit of a sting. This side I don't, which either means that this blade cut a little deeper or it just irritated me a little more. Ah, no blood. Feels it's stinging like it's bleeding, but it, I don't see any blood. Pretty smooth right there. Yeah, I bet this would work really good with a blade that I'm used to. Everybody has a different blade, razor. I've said this dozens of times, combo that works for them, but doesn't work for other people. 
And uh, that Wilkinson sword blade might work fantastic for, man, this feels so light for you, but it maybe just doesn't work so good for me in that razor. Because I got Wilkinson sword blades that work great for me in other razors. Hear that? Still left a little. Now I'm not gonna do a third pass on a supermarket shave because I know you guys would not do three passes with these blade, these razors. There's no way. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm kind of doing that, but crap. So doing it on this side. I swapped sides. Got carried away. This will take my neck out of the equation. All right. I'm waiting to see uh, some weepers come. So far, so good. Well, they both work okay. They both worked okay. Now, that metal Wilkinson sword, uh, the twist open, I, I kind of prefer that over this. But in a pinch, both of them seem to do okay. This one is just absolutely a trip, though, because look at this. This is almost like a Bic that you find here in the U.S., but I have not seen the, op the open comb format. Nope. No weepers yet. All right. What did the guy say that jumped off the 50-story uh, building? You could hear him going by the windows, and he kept saying, so far, so good. I don't know. So far, so good with this. Damn. That's funny, because this side is burning much more than this side. So that would indicate to me that this is a much milder shave. This one with the DE blade got in a little deeper, so it probably got more skin. But, ah, damn it, was that a weeper? Nothing major. Well, there you go. You guys have been asking for it. There's a supermarket shave. Items that you find on a supermarket shelf in Europe, in Asia. You guys who have tried this much more than me, these, these razors much more than me, I appreciate reading your comments to hear, you know, what, what your stories of them are. But, uh, man, for me, a 34G, or 34G, 34C, is kind of an all-around razor. Reasonably priced, it's an all-around razor. It works pretty good. Uh, but hey, in a pinch, these things work. All right. Now, I know there's gonna be some critics out there going, ah, cartridge razor, cartridge razor. Then you're definitely not gonna like my uh, Track 2 versus the, uh, the Tecomatic Gillette that'll be coming up, maybe not the next shave, but uh, it's, it's on deck. It's coming up down the line. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. And until next time, it's Ken Surf saying, have a great night.